Hello there. Welcome to these quick tips on how to photograph your glass art to get the most out of it and get it recognised by people, especially when you're posting it online. Because uh, I've been working in an art gallery for almost three years now in marketing. A big part of that is getting the photography online and in, taken in a way that gets noticed over the competition. And with glass art, a lot of that is about the lighting, pretty much all about the lighting. Um, one thing I've found that is really good is to use different coloured lights. So if you're just taking maybe a photo of a boring sort of glass goblet, shining a blue light through it at an angle, it just gives it an extra dimension and has it stand out a lot more. And on top of that, you could actually get a CD and when you get it at the right angle, it creates a rainbow effect. So I found that works really well as well, just to get, you know, people to look at your stuff as opposed to the competition and then, you know, that's your way in. Uh, you can also underlight it using, let me see here, using, a, that's what we call it, a light pad in combination with a plexiglass mm -hmm. table. So the light pad allows the light to shine upwards from underneath, giving a nice shadow on top. And the plexiglass table um, actually absorbs a lot of the light and stops the reflection comes off. That, that may not be uh, technically true, but from what I saw as a result, that is what happened. So yeah, play with that. And also to reduce the glare, I found that a lot of the time you'd have, you know, that little spark of glare that would just get in the way when you don't want it there. So play around with moving the lights in different directions to actually get some nice shadowing on one side and, you know, to be very artistic in that way. So that's all I can think of off the top of my head and my notes there. I've actually got a full step-by-step -step down in the link. Um, yeah, check that out. I've got a whole article on it. And let me know what you think. Cheers then.